Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. So, uh, first of all, happy Sylvanas Book Day. The new Sylvanas book came out today. Um, I pre-ordered it on Amazon, but my physical copy isn't going to get here until like Monday. So I went ahead and got the audiobook, um, and I've started listening to that. And so far, it's so good with Patty Matson reading it. Um, I'm only about an hour in, so I still have 14 hours to go of uh, just hearing her beautiful voice and the whole story and everything. Um, but also today I'm going to be uh, reacting to uh, basically there's two cinematics. Um, I've kind of read through this a little bit but just kind of skimming it um, but I decided that I'm going to go ahead and read through it with you guys. Um, so this is 9.2 epilogue Sylvanas's judgment questline story spoilers. So uh, it says the epilogue of the Shadowlands campaign is now live with Sylvanas's judgment being delivered. We went through the short questline on this post. So I haven't really been keeping up with like all the 9.2 stuff. I played through the Zareth Mortis stuff for like a day or two and then I haven't been on it so um, I haven't even done this in game or even gotten anywhere close to doing this in game. I haven't even unlocked buying or anything so uh, yeah this is my first time seeing all of this stuff. The epilogue questline starts in Zareth Mortis with Bolvar giving out the quest The Jailer's Defeat. This quest is a simple introduction to the epilogue and the Jailer finale cutscene from the sepulchre of the First One's Raid plays out there. Uh, after the cutscene is played, Bolvar sends you to Oribos to deliver the Crown of Wills. I hate the new crown so much, it looks so bad. Um, to deliver the Crown of Wills to the Arbiter, as well as finishing up the last task in the Shadowlands, the Judgment of Sylvanas Windrunner. We then meet Uther together with Sylvanas and Oribos in A Long Walk. We escort Sylvanas together with Uther to the Arbiter's Chamber, a literal walk of shame for Sylvanas. As she walks through, Covenant members and Azerothian souls all giving her a piece of their mind. Uther, come, let us be on our way. You defiled our sacred groves. Torment is all you deserve. Your sins are beyond measure. How many souls have you doomed? We trusted you, you betrayed us all, my home, my family, all burned to ashes. Is it justice they seek, or vengeance? Is that like all Uther ever says? <laughs> He's always just, vengeance over. <laughs> uh, anger and pain make it difficult to tell the difference. So this, I'm definitely, I would be very interested to um, kind of see this in game and kind of like be with Sylvanas walking through all of that. That's definitely very intense. Um, and like I said, a literal walk of shame for her. So yeah, uh, by the way, in terms of how I feel about all this, because I'm sure like a lot of you guys are all like, oh my God, how does Lady Survival feel about, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I used to be a lot more, I love Sylvana still. Um, nothing's changed in that regard, but I used to be a lot more like stoked about her and like in the past, like, if you were to tell me this two years ago that she was going to go through this walk of shame, I'd be like, oh my god, no, like, my queen, she can't have this happen to her. But I'm just kind of... Shadowlands has been such a shit show that, like, I just don't really care anymore. I just, I don't know. Like, my enthusiasm for it is just kind of, like, whatever happens, happens. I already roughly know what to expect in these cinematic stuff that's happening because I've sort of... Uh, skimmed through and just seen because I mean like there's no way to avoid seeing this stuff when you're on Instagram and Twitter and everything. Um, so all the leaks that kind of talked about all the lines that were said between Tyrande and Sylvanas. Um, again, I just did my best to kind of skim through it, but I have kind of gathered that it sounds like Tyrande's just gonna be like, you have to go to the Maw and spend all of your time like saving all of the souls that are there and so, I, and I'm pretty sure that she, like, jumps into the Maw and stuff, because we saw that, like, jump animation thing a while ago. So I know roughly what's going to happen. I'm totally okay with it. Um, personally, if I could have chose Sylvanas' story instead, I would have rather them just killed her and had her just stay the Banshee Queen and just, like, go down with a bang instead of, like, all this, like, redemption stuff and, like, now she's the Ranger General and now all this stuff. Like, I literally just would have them rather have just killed her and just like you know then I could have been like okay like this is the my queen that I worshipped from the start and she was always true to her motives crazy as they are but that's she went to the grave with that that's what I wish personally so I don't know but we're gonna keep on reading um 
After we arrive at the Arbiter's Chambers, we can start the fate of Sylvanas. Several NPCs can be found there, Illyria, Verissa, Gen, Bane, Jaina, Anduin, Thrall, Talia, Bolvar, Shandris, Taranda, Maev, Kalia, Lordamar, and Thalysra. That's a lot of people. Um, as we talk to Arbiter Pelagos, the Judgment of Sylvanas starts playing the first cutscene. Okay, all right, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to do this as it comes and then we'll keep reading through. So I, I didn't even know that there was two cutscenes, to be honest, so that's really exciting. Um, so we're going to go ahead and this is my reaction to the first cutscene. Sylvanas Windrum, the time for your judgment is at hand. There can be no true justice without compassion. And I can see your deeds bear the mark of the Jailer's influence. An influence we failed to contain. The Jailer did not control me. My actions were mine alone. And I accept their consequences. Then, you know in your heart to whom you must answer. I submit to the judgment of Tyrande Whisper. Entrusting justice to your most fervent adversary. Are there any gathered here who object to this fate? So be it. What game do you play now, Banshee? The Sylvanas I hunted would never submit to the blade of her enemy. Death would be a merciful end, Tyrone. And I do not expect your mercy. Your newfound remorse might be genuine, but it can never erase all you have done. There will be no peace for you, Windrunner, until there is peace for the souls of your victims. The prisoner is in my charge now. Bring her! Wow. Okay, fair. I feel like that's a fair uh, fate for her. Um, I really like the end there when Toronto walks off. It, it gives me Mayev vibes for sure um, with Illidan. Okay, so moving on to the rest of the reading. Um, after Pelagos assigns Sylvanas' judgment to Tyrande, we go with her to the Ring of Transference in Oribos, where Tyrande delivers her judgment in peace and renewal. As we arrive there, Sylvanas has a short dialogue with her sister Verissa before facing Tyrande. And now, after so long, there is so much we need to say to one another. I know, sisters, but judgment comes. Wow. That's kind of crazy that she doesn't even really get any time with her sisters or anything. I feel like that'd be really hard for them. It's like, wow, they're just getting to see Sylvanas as Ranger General again, which is, like, who they knew and loved. And now it's like, hey, nice to see you, but I got some judgment to atone, atone for, so... Okay, um, Tyrande then delivers her judgment, playing the second cinematic out and completing the 9.2 epilogue questline. All right, second cinematic, let's go. Below lies the law, an unjust fate to which you doomed so many. And it will be there that your penance begins. Every soul lost in its depths, betrayed or condemned, you shall find and send forth to the Arbiter to be judged with the compassion all souls deserve. You will toil there under Dorotha's watchful eye, scouring every darkened reach until the final soul is free and you 
are all that remains. This is how you shall bring renewal to your victims. And my people. However long it takes, it shall be done. Undo Falador, old friend. Watch her well. that jump though oh my god okay um again uh nothing really unexpected like i said i kind of knew that that's what it was um both of these cinematics were kind of like dull sort of like um they were good but like i don't know i just feel like they were kind of bland and just it's probably just because they were mostly spoiled so nothing was really shocking about them um i'm totally fine with it i think that it's a pretty good kind of end for now for solanus and it kind of wraps up her story kind of well for now because the maw has been the place where she has been trying to avoid it forever and now here she is that's like what her fate ends up being um, but it's also funny because she was already in the Maw anyways with the Jailer, so I'm sure she she knows it well. She knows where all the souls could be hiding and everything, and I'm sure that she'll find Nathanos there too. So that plays in well to her voice line about how she'll find Nathanos again. Um, I think that it's good that we're going to kind of get like a break from Sylvanas. Like, I'm assuming she won't really be in the next expansion, um, which is probably good because we got a big dose of Sylvanas in BFA and Shadowlands, so I don't really have a whole lot to say about the cinematics. I'm okay with it. It's whatever. I don't really like how she looks, though. I feel like her nose is, like, too shiny and, like, her face is too, like, white now or something. I don't know. There's definitely something, like, weird about it. Like, there's too many highlights on her chin and around her nose and her nose looks like skinnier. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't, I don't like the new armor. Uh, there's too much blue and she just doesn't look evil enough. And I know that that's obviously because she's not the Banshee Queen anymore, but I don't resonate with it. I, like I said, I much rather would have, um, I don't know. We just should have killed her at the end of the last raid. Like I almost would have preferred that instead of the jailer giving her her soul back and stuff even though there wouldn't really be like much closure and stuff and I just wish that she like fully committed to the whole like evil thing and that like I don't know I, I just I hoped for something more for her I don't really like this personally I don't know I don't even really know what else to say um but yeah and then we're just gonna read some of this other stuff because why not um the Banshee's penance will save countless lost souls, a fate that would not come to pass had I slain her in Arden Weald. Perhaps this is why Mother Moon stayed my hand. The Horde inflicted a grievous wound upon my people. You may never earn my trust, but you have my thanks for setting things right. Um, post questline NPC dialogues. During the Tyrande Judgment quest, several NPCs have some dialogue when you talk to them, including different Sylvanas dialogues for whether you chose to become a loyalist. Cool! or rebel against her in Battle for Azeroth. Uh, that's really cool that they're kind of bringing that stuff back. I'm very excited to read that. Um, okay, Sylvanas Rebeler. Uh, before I face the coming judgment, I would share words with you. I was recently reminded that we cannot change the past. If you choose to hate me for the things I've done, I could not blame you for it. But know this, we shared common cause once, and you have proven your dedication to the Horde time and again. I hope that you will continue to defend it, no matter what may come. And then, loyalist. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, it is fitting that we share a few final words here as I stand upon the precipice of judgment. You have shown me loyalty time and time again, even when others spurned you for it. Even when my own actions did not merit such dedication. Oh my god. I'm like, anything that you do, I will be there. Um, I'm not certain what fate awaits me, but if one day I have need, need of trusted allies, I know I can call upon you. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, Taronda, 
The banshee tore a gaping wound in the soul of my people. She set our home aflame and sent countless Kaldori to the maw. Whatever judgment the arbiter hands down can never balance the scales. Nothing he can do or say will, will be enough. Will ever be enough. Uh, Uther, in life, Sylvanas Windrunner served as Ranger General of Silvermoon. If you had told her then of the atrocity she would commit in undeath, she wouldn't have believed you. We all sometimes harbor in darkness in our hearts. I nearly succumbed to mine. What I did to Arthas could have become the first step on a path to damnation. Yet from understanding flows compassion, and compassion can save us from any darkness. It is an ideal to which we must all aspire, though we must never forget that it does not come easily. Uh, Jaina, hatred is a cycle, one that is all too easy to perpetrate, and forgiveness does not come easily to those who have been wronged. Years ago, I implored others to set aside their grievances and bring that cycle to an end. Only now, after so much has happened, do I grasp the enormity of what I was asking. Hatred and guilt have haunted me, as they have so many others. I still believe the cycle can be broken, though it takes re relentless effort and a great deal of time. Anduin. Oh my god, gray mane's coming up. The shadow of things I've seen, what the jailer forced me to do, hangs over me. For the part you played in setting me free, I'll always be grateful. But I cannot pretend that I can simply go back to being the person I was. I need time. I must, a I must ask more of you. The Alliance will need your dedication now more than ever. No doubt the Horde will rely upon your courage in the days ahead. Defend Azeroth no matter what comes. Oh my god. Okay, Greyman has two. Um, for the Alliance. I will never forgive the Banshee for what she did to Teldrassil, or Gilneas, or my son. Greymane clenches his fist. But for now, our focus must turn to Anduin. He will need our help to recover from what he's endured. Horde, um, I refuse to believe that your fallen warchief feels even the slightest remorse for her crimes. When will she answer for what she did to my people, to my son? <laughs> Greymane clenches his fist. He's got those fists clenched, bro. Uh, you have much to answer for as well. Uh, Lord Amar, we send I are no strangers to suffering and tragedy. I have seen my people massacred, my kingdom razed, and all I revered, and all I revered defiled. When Silvermoon at last rejoined the world, it was Sylvanas who extended her hand and welcomed us into the Horde. Those days are long behind us now. The devastation and loss inflicted upon Azeroth by the Banshee Queen is nigh incalculable. The knowledge that I stood by while so much of it happened still haunts me. Perhaps in the end, judgment will come for me as well. Well, we got a, we got a lot of lines, uh, but we're going through them all because I want to know all of this stuff. Uh, Bane. Sylvanas had me imprisoned and tortured for defying her, though, sh though the pain she inflicted upon me pales in, com in comparison to that of her other victims. For a time, I hated her for what she did to me in the Horde, but hatred is a poison. Once it seeps into your veins, it will spell your doom. It is right that Sylvanas faces justice for all she has done. The guilty must stand before those they have wronged and answer for their crimes. Thrall. When Sylvanas sent her Mossworn to capture me, all I wanted was to escape, to leave the Shadowlands behind and return to my home, my family. And yet this journey has taught me so much about my mother, about myself, and about the legacy we all leave behind. This was not the path I would have chosen, but perhaps it was the path I needed to walk. Bulvar. As I sat for years upon the frozen throne, I felt a malevolent shadow upon my mind. I did not realize it was the jailer attempting to twist me into yet another of his pawns. It took me... It took all of my resolve to resist his influence, and still I have no way of knowing how many of my actions furthered Ice Crown Citadel's true purpose. That is what is most insidious about him. Even after the jailer's defeat, the doubt he sowed within each of us lives on. Oh my gosh, her sisters! Okay, Illyria. As I fought demons for centuries across the twisting nether, I clung to hope that I would one day hold my son again and stand beside my sisters once more. I could never have imagined the fate that befell Sylvanas or the monstrous choices she would make thereafter. Verissa desperately hopes that the return of her soul fragment means that our sister has been returned to us. I am less certain, but I have learned to be patient. I will be watching. Verissa. After witnessing Sylvanas's deeds during the war, I feared the last vestige of the sister I knew was gone forever. But when I heard what transpired here in the Shadowlands, I had to come and see for myself. 
I'd understand if you thought me a fool for still having hope, but I have lost so many that I loved. If there is even a chance that a spark of the Sylvanas I knew has returned, then I refuse to give up on her. Chandris. The Calderai, those who burned as well as those who survived, have long awaited this moment, to know that the Banshee will be made to answer for all she has done. Many called for her head, some still do, and I doubt that anything less will satisfy them. But Solana spoke true when she said death would be a mercy, and if she can spare souls from the torments of the Maw, then perhaps her penance will prove more valuable than her execution. And then Maev is the last one. Do you believe this to be justice, Warlock? That's so <laughs> specifically Warlock. That Sylvanas be allowed to endure after slaughtering countless innocents? There was a time when rage clouded my vision and I turned my glaive against my own people. And after my beloved comrade, Syra, was struck down and raised into undeath, she unleashed her hatred against us. By rights, both our lives were forfeit, yet I was given a chance to mend that which I sought to tear asunder, not for my sake, but for those whom, whom I had wronged. I pray Syrah may receive that chance as well. As for Sylvanas, I do not know if this is justice, but I believe that it is right. Wow, okay. Those were all very interesting. Uh, more than I thought that there would be. That was a lot of reading. Yeah. I don't know. I'm okay with all of this. I'm okay with Sylvanas being kind of put away for a little while, and I hope that she comes back with a Nathanos again. That would be awesome. Um, but again, I would assume we're not going to see much of her in the next expansion, which is fine by me. And apparently we might be getting Dark Rangers in the next expansion, so that's exciting. But, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction and this little read through. I've never really like read through like Wowhead stuff or like anything with you guys. So that was kind of fun, just like kind of taking it all in together. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.